All right, welcome back everybody. Captain Krista Stedman with Austin Travis County EMS. And this afternoon I am here with Commander Chris Lester, who is uh, over our Homeland Security Emergency Management Department um, and also oversees our Spartan drone program. So uh, Commander Lester is gonna walk us through sort of some of the details about our drone program and the mission and the types of, um, of aircraft that we fly, uh, oh. as well as some of the, of the missions that we go on. Commander so. Lester, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit of just about our Spartan program overall and the mission of the team. Yeah, so uh, Spartan, which stands for uh, Special Projects, Aero Recon, Transport Aid and Navigation. Okay. Uh, acronym's a whole lot shorter than all of that. Uh, so our main goal is to provide information to, to the scene, no matter what that scene may be, if it's a disaster response, special event, or a search and rescue. Um, those are generally our, our go-to ones right there, the most common. Um, we've used them for many other things though, as for overwatch during festivals or traffic pattern uh, mitigation for large scale events. Okay. Um, very handy equipment. Um, we have currently about 17 frontline aircraft okay. with uh, 28 pilots. Okay. So that allows us a 24 seven response on two different vehicles, uh, city split east and west. Um, provide coverage 24 hours a day. Uh, if anybody in the city needs it or other departments as well. Okay, so we've got some of our, our aircraft on display here. So sort of walk us through the difference between some of our frontline units and some of the things that we use for other special projects and what we're looking at. Absolutely, so uh, this one here is one of our uh, Altel Evo 2 Enterprises. Um, it comes with a speaker on top or a spotlight. Um, you can communicate one way through it. It does have thermal capabilities, so very easily to see at night. It's great for search and rescue. Um, this one over here is uh, pretty much the same thing, but without the thermal camera. Um, so just regular RGB camera, and it has a little aftermarket stand on it, which allows us to put a very bright spotlight on it. Okay. Then also deliver little things like medications or things like that, in case we end up in a situation like another ice storm, sure. something like that. We can't get to somebody's house, they're just out of their insulin. Okay. Very easy fix to the situation. So we can actually attach a payload to these aircraft yes. and fly necessary yes. Absolutely. resources to yep. where they nothing, need to be. Nothing huge, but you know, something around two pounds or less, so sure. medications are great. Balls of water, radio, cell phone if somebody lost in the woods. Um, it's perfect for those things for short distance flights. Okay, so tell me about what's what's sort of the typical everyday response that we utilize our UAS resources for? So during spring and summer are our busiest times of the year. Um, everybody's active hiking, biking, out the lake. And there's always those people that are lost in the woods, mm -hmm. um, people fall off boats, there's drownings, things like that. Any of those search and rescue, water rescue, high angle rescue, we automatically get dispatched to those. Um, a lot of times in conjunction with Starflight, um, we do a lot of training with them, so we c communicate uh, quite well together. They don't mind flying with us, and so that's fantastic. Um, allows us to kind of split the area up a little bit more. Um, so if you know they do have to hoist out something like that, we can move it out of the way, they can come in and do their job. Um, so it's a great working relationship with them and then other public safety departments as well. So you mentioned other public safety departments. So the Spartan team actually works very closely with the fire department and the police department UAS Absolutely. teams. Absolutely. Uh, we communicate almost daily with each other. Um, three different departments, but it's very hard to get the whole mission set done with inside one department. So uh, we really rely on each other heavily to uh, fill these voids. Um, so you know, if somebody needs help with something, not enough aircraft or pilots, we can assist and vice versa. It's, it's a great working relationship. Okay. So give me an example of like, you know, what would, what would we be utilized for, say, for a police department mission? So um, if police needs assistance, you know, a good one would be, a, you know, SWAT call out, right? Okay. So providing overwatch of the scene, um, they've become accustomed to that within uh, using drones themselves. And if you know they have some people out and they can't provide that information, we have our tactical medics there as well. So they're very used to working with us. Mm -hmm. um, so we just fit right in. We all speak the same language because we train the same. So we can provide a really good uh, overview of the of you know the SWAT call out, whatever's going on. And if they need us to, we can fly inside and uh, help 
help clear the uh, residents as well if, if, if that's what they need. And conversely, we've also done um, some fire missions with our partners at the Austin Fire Department as well, right? Absolutely. Um, we've worked with Austin Fire Department uh, when you know big fires, they don't have enough pilots out or aircraft, just like happens to us sometimes. You know, we call on each other like, hey, can you come and help? Um, and since we all train together, we all work together really well. Um, we've been tasked with going out to the fires in Bastrop, mm -hmm. uh, making uh, maps um, along with AFD. Uh, we've worked with DPS out there before as well. So the whole region has a really great working relationship of um, getting the job done. It doesn't matter who's actually doing it. Let's just work together and make sure everything gets done correctly. So this team is actually deployable outside of Absolutely. The, the local <laughs> region. Yes, more than more than happy to help anybody who's in need of you know whatever we can provide for them. Excellent, and just give me a quick overview of what kind of training goes into becoming a drone pilot for our system. Absolutely, so <clears throat> all of our pilots are, have FA 107 license. Mm -hmm. um, so they get that first, and then once they have that core basic knowledge, we put them through uh, a week-long training academy um, based off of PCERT curriculum. Okay. And so that's some classrooms, some policies, procedures for us and how we do things. Um, and a lot of stick time, a lot of scenarios, um, getting people comfortable with the aircraft, being able to move in tight spaces, how to identify things, a lot of time practicing to make them efficient when they're out in the streets. Awesome. Well, the Spartan drone team is just one of many of the different opportunities that we have available at Austin Travis County EMS. So if you are interested, as always, emsrecruiting.org, we are always accepting applications. And if you are a medic and you want to be a drone pilot, come see us and apply and we'll get you going. Thanks for joining me, Commander Lester. Thank you. Appreciate you. And I'll we will care. see you guys for the next one.